So were there any matches that stood out to you guys in that round? I think there was a lot more standouts in here than there were in round one, especially because round one had more matches. I think eight more matches. Were there any matches in here that really uh, caught your eye? Uh, absolutely for me. Of course you got Yano teasing, shaving Hiromu Takahashi's head as Glorious he did when he was match. a young I love that match so much. <laughs> You got my man, the Holy Emperor, as we call him, the finesse god, Taichi, invoking the spirit of one uh, Ta uh, Ta uh, Kashi Izuka right here, using the iron finger from hell on Kota Ibushi. You have that. That's that's a magical moment when he does that. You can't ever, you cannot mention that. You got evil going through a roadblock in his career with Hiroki Goto because he's always been a roadblock in his career. Those are a couple of matches. Of course, Okada and. Nagata was good, but this is, I think this is when we start to see the, hate to say the cracks or the weaknesses uh, as one guy has. I think that's probably when this is Oh, uh, I mean, I so, think it started in the first match, but yeah, I think a lot of the cracks might be seen in the second match, too. <laughs> yeah, those are mine, though. Uh, yeah, John, did you have any? In uh, some of them were kind of the same there. You know, Evil and Goto, I could watch over and over again they're usually really good together just you know two guys pounding the ever-loving hell out of each other i mean it's it's vicious it's mean it looks like it hurts a lot and either one of them could win and you know i was pleased at the outcome but it could have gone the other way without a whole lot of effort. Yeah, if Hiromu versus Yano is not on your short list for match of the year, don't uh, talk to exactly. me. Exactly, and I, 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 I hate the, I hate this argument that oh, because it wasn't a five star match, it is a match of the year. I hate that argument so much because it's, it's like you don't have to go in there and have a fifty minute long like stiff match in order for it to be considered one of your favorites. Like I thought personally, this was if one of if not my favorite match of the entire New Japan Cup. And it didn't have any, like, suplex or anything major to happen. It was literally just Hiromu Takahashi being traumatized by this man from what he did in the past. And I felt like Hiromu, even though it was comedic, he sold that so well. Like, I honestly felt like he was scared of Yano going into this match with yeah. the tag matches. And then that's the end of the match. Like, him pulling out the clippers and him getting the clippers out. And it's like, wait, this doesn't work. And then Yano pulls out the other one. He's like, ah! And it's, I just thought that was so, I, like, this is so great. This is tremendous. Like, I don't see this anywhere else. No, it's fabulous. And, you know, speaking as the person with, you know, a background in theater and film, it's really kind of insulting and incredibly, incredibly wrong that comedy in any form is looked at as lesser. Mm -hmm. Because it is so much harder. I have directed... And I'm telling you right now, it is so much more difficult to get good comedy out of people than it is good drama. There's a reason that people who are good at being funny transition into doing drama pretty easily, but the reverse is not uh, true. Yeah, and the same stuff is going to apply to wrestling. And I think that it's pretty laughable that you have some of the very same people who are over here going, oh, yeah, like what you like. There's, you know, wrestling is for everybody and there's all these different kinds of things. Oh, but that can't be a match of the year because that was just, you know, comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it can. And in this case, it is. So deal. Exactly. What other match do you know of a finish where the man literally takes his wrist tape, ties him up, then wraps around his eyes and sends him in the elevator and wins by count out. Exactly. And what I want to say, too, about it is, I don't know, I might be crazy for saying this, but I think in 2020, to this new this new era of pro wrestling, I almost think it's easier to have a quote-unquote match of the year candidate with a longer match than it would be with a match that we had with Hiromu Takahashi and Toru Yano right here. I think it's almost harder to do it in that context. Mm -hmm. And they did it right now. So, I mean, it's easy to go out and... I just hate to say it, spam your finishers a couple times, you know, have a couple near falls. If that stuff is, you know, that's ingrained in pro wrestling to do stuff like that. But to do comedic stuff like this, and, and we're also in 2022, if somebody's like, oh, this isn't a match of the year candidate, but they're also praising cinema wrestling right now, I think that's kind of hypocritical. Uh, very hypocritical. Uh, oh, you totally. love to see those people who go Absolutely. out there and like, oh, yeah, I thought the Money Big match was great, but this match... Uh, I don't know, man. I didn't see enough finisher spams by the end. So, yeah, people are weird like that, you know? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, the, there's different stories to be told in different ways, and they could not have done 
anything better than what they did in this match to tell this story the way that they did it. It was basically flawless for what they were trying to do. Practically, practically. Definitely one of my favorite matches of the year. Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Tyler. Welcome back, back, back to the Tyler Williams channel. Thank you for listening in to this little uh, tidbit. If you wonder where that little uh, clip came from, it came from a discussion I had with John and Dion from SOS Wrestling Network here on YouTube. We had a two-hour-long discussion that was an overview of the entire New Japan Cup 2020, talking about our favorite matches, what we expect from New Japan going forward, our, all the build-up going up to these matches, and just overall what the tournament was like. And basically just a refresher for a lot of you who want to know all about this tournament going into the finals. Maybe some of you who didn't catch the whole thing or didn't catch it at all. So I feel like that is the place to be. We will be uploading this video up to my channel within the next one or two days. So keep your eye out. That being said, link in the description. Go subscribe to SS Wrestle Talk, And I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys.